evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome. It's time for another exciting edition of The Wizard of Pamela the Movie. This is the exciting new show where we tell you what we thought the latest movie. That way you know better than to spend your money at the theater, or just wait until it comes out on cable. This week we're going to do a, an edition we're incredibly excited about, because we're going to tell you about the top 10 best movies of the 20th century. Wait a minute, most of the people weren't even alive about the 20th century. How they know what we're talking about? This way they won't know where they came from that. Chat chat. The first movie are our list is Shrek. Starring Mike Fire and Eddie Murphy. We picked this movie because the modern Terry Keller a lot of great jokes in We picked this one because it was nice a good fantasy story. Number five on our list is Star Wars. Do you see more? Number four on our list is Star Wars. Do you see more? Number three on our list is Star Wars. Do you see more? Number two on our list is Disney's Fantasy's Monster Day. This is spelled a couple of monsters be able to go girl named Boo and it's up to them to get her home. Meanwhile, the corporation wants to collect screams. This is spelled a good act art fight. Not only that, but watching monsters travel the world is real who. Exactly. And the number one spell on our list, none other than Dad, Camelot goes to Hollywood. What? This one unit new film written and directed by none other than yours truly. Sorry, that's one of the finest films ever created since we were brothers. Crank out during the moon. Very Captain Diego Jones and Trevor and William Pamela. Wait a minute, there's no such movie as Pamela Goes to Hollywood? Not yet, but I got a lecture with Jim Gilbert. I you like Calico Bell. California, here I come. Well, I guess we run out of time for the day. By the way, folks, we're still not hiring you to thank it. No experience necessary, we'll trade. Bye for now, I'll see you next week on The Wizard and. Oh, I hear Captain Lee Gifford needs the job to make all the work calls.